Hey guys, uh, Passive Butter here. We are now on the second uh, game for November 11, 2021 NBA Game Day. This is the game between Indiana Pacers and Utah Jazz. Um, hold up. This will happen 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That will be 10 a.m. here in Manila. Um, Indiana Pacers, uh, they are having a record of 4 wins and 8 losses. While Utah Jazz, they're having a tremendous... Uh, performance of eight wins and three losses before we proceed i'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our youtube account or youtube channel please click on the subscribe button below and also include that bell logo so that automatically you guys will be notified whenever there is a new video that's uploaded also i've gone ahead and uh, placed um my paypal account and gcash account information in the description of the videos so for those who would want to give some tips and cash donations man those will be greatly appreciated all right let's get down to the point indiana pacers they actually played last night um against the uh, denver nuggets and they actually lost against denver um so in terms of uh legs and in terms of uh health i would have to say that um Utah Jazz has the advantage, especially especially um, Utah Jazz has the has less injured players. I guess the only the only one who's out in Utah is actually Rudy Gay. Um, unlike for Indiana Pacers, they have a couple or maybe even three players who are actually not playing still. Um, and again, th their legs must be tired as they have played last night, and Utah Jazz had their rest day. Utah Jazz is also at home. Utah Jazz is also a better offensive team. And um, if you take a look at it, uh, the best player of Indiana is, of course, um, some, may ar some, may, some may argue on this, but for me, it's actually Sabonis. Um, the best player of Indiana Pacers will go up against a, an elite defender in Utah Jazz, Rudy Gobert. Um, it's going to be, a, you know, it's gonna be a, hard, a hard battle for Sabonis, of course. I'm not saying that Sabonis won't be able to score, but, you know, he would really need to exert a lot of effort. And again, since he already played last night, it may be a long night for him and the rest of the Pacers. I don't really see any reasons as to why Utah Jazz would lose on this. So I think the only, um, the only question is that, will Utah Jazz be able to cover the spread? I checked on it. The spread is minus 9. By the looks of it, since Utah Jazz uh, just came off a win as well uh, against uh, Atlanta Hawks, and for me, Atlanta Hawks is better than Indiana Pacers. But still, they defeated Atlanta Hawks by double digits. Now they're going up against a tired Indiana Pacers. My pick on this one would be Utah Jazz minus 9. I think Utah Jazz would, should be able to uh, manage and you know build a, uh, you know, a double digit lead at the end of this game. Utah Jazz minus 9. Peace out. I say love and God bless.